you are mute mute yeah i welcome you all to the joint meeting of rice toastmasters club and kairali toastmasters club and rice will be having its 52nd meeting and kairali will have its 68th meeting today which we follow in our toastmasters meeting as toastmasters we don't talk about sex religion and politics so please refrain from speaking on these topics please put yourself on mute if you are not speaking as we are on virtual platform please keep your video on but please turn off your video if you are stepping out of the meeting and please avoid drinking or eating while the video is on and especially respect this ramadan season the mission of our toastmasters club is to provide a mutually supportive and positive learning environment in which every member has the opportunity to develop communication and leadership skills which in turn foster self confidence and personal growth now i would like to call upon our dynamic presidents of both the clubs to open up this meeting and invite rice toastmaster club president toastmaster chandrashekar dude who has served as a district in the district as a area a past area a director division b director and currently the president of rice toastmasters club and also has held many different uh, roles officer positions during his Toastmasters journey, working with Pat Kata Power Company for twelve years and enjoying Toastmasters journey for the past six years, he believes that everything happens for a good purpose. So just chill and be happy. And also, he is a humorous champion for the past few years, and it we are going to witness this year again as he has excelled at the area and going to represent Area Seven at the Division B contest. Let's give a thunderous applause to our Rice Toastmasters Club President Chandrasekhar Dubey. I now invite our acting uh, presiding officer for Kairali Toastmasters Club, that is Toastmaster Srikala Gopinath, who is a postgraduate in English literature with a and is a author, literature scribbler. voice over artist and a public speaker and also a champion speaker who has won in several contests both international speech and the humorous and who is also a past news reader of last channel kata friends put your hands to welcome our presiding officer of kaira litros masters club shri kala gopinath she will also be i think in division b contest right yeah yes, she is a competitor Yeah, humorous. <laughs> With this, I hand control to the presidents of both Rise and Kaira Leaders Master Group. Over to you. Thank you, uh, DTM uh, Riyana, for the wonderful introductions. Uh, it is pleasure to meet you again uh, to all members of Kaira Leaders Master Club. I think this is our second joint meeting. Uh, it it's, it will be great to meet you again. thank you i declare rise to master club meeting number 52 open and hand over to presiding officer of kerala to master club thank you uh, to master chandrashekar dude uh, for introducing me uh, into our the uh, our joint meeting for the day now the second time we are meeting together and very happy to be part of rise to masters club again and this is the first time i'm handling the sitting as acting president so obviously uh, i don't have much idea on how to deal with this chair without much ado and without um, uh, further delaying conversation let me directly get into the meeting 
let me welcome all the members of both clubs uh, to the joint meeting of Rise and Kairali Toastmasters. With this note, let me declare the 68th meeting of Kairali Toastmasters Club is open. Now it's time for us to introduce the Toastmaster of the day, uh, Toastmaster Aparna Renish. First of all, on behalf of us all sitting over here, let me extend our uh, thunderous applause or uh, warming appreciation to Toastmaster Aparna Despite her busy schedule, she always insists to be on time and she always specific and particular that she is doing the role, whatever she has undertaken on time. So today, when this time when we are sitting over here uh, and when we are running, if we are able to run the meeting on time as planned, that is simply because of the dedication she is showing. So I think we need to appreciate that and Warm appreciations for that also. Now to the official introduction. Aparna Ranish is an engineer by education, clinical coordinator by profession and a Gable Club counsellor by passion. Hails from Kerala, India, is a resident of Qatar for over two decades. A Toastmaster for eight years, have served in various leadership roles that includes, but not limited to district administration manager, District Gables, Club Coordinator, Area Director, etc. She has been serving as the Chairman of Global Youth Gable Clubs Group A. So we have so much, plenty of much more than this about to tell about, to speak about our Toastmaster of the day, who is actually going to handle the theme Spiritual Rejuvenation, which is much apt at this holy month of Ramadan. Let me welcome on behalf of us all, Toastmaster Aparna Ranish to the joint meeting of Rice and Kairali Toastmasters Club. Over to you, Atiya Modi. Thank you, Toastmaster Srikala, for that very warm introduction and appreciation. I'm on Clyde 9 already. Thank you so much. Happy Ramadan to all our members and guests. May this Ramadan be a month of love, compassion, and forgiveness for all of you and your loved ones. Ramadan, it's the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar. And it's a time of spiritual rejuvenation for Muslims all around the world. It's a month full of fasting, prayer, reflection, and community bonding. Observing Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam, making it a fundamental practice for Muslims. Today, we are on day 10 of Ramadan. And actually, I learned more about Ramadan fasting and the rituals behind it only after coming to Qatar back in India. I did have some Muslim friends, but then I was not, I didn't know much about this Ramadan and Eid and all that stuff. Maybe the reasons may be back in India is just one community observing, but here entire country gets into this Ramadan mode. Uh, and since Ramadan too, I have been attending iftar on daily basis. Every day there is an iftar in bed. I'm like having fun networking with all my friends in, the, in our community. So even this evening, I have one Ramadan iftar invite. So that's the beauty of Ramadan. It brings in a lot of community bonding and networking. And it shows a lot of uh, positivity and goodness all around. Okay, that's a bit about Ramadan. Now let's get into a meeting today. Today, we just have a prepared speech session and general evaluation. As it's Ramadan, we need to cut down short the timings because a few of our friends are fasting for Holy Ramadan and we need to wind up in time. So we have eliminated the table topic session, uh, which is the second session normally. Do we have any guests? I was expecting a guest. No, we don't have any. Okay. So now to help me with the meeting today, I have few dedicated role players. At first, the timer. Time holds significance importance. That's got a immense significance, uh, significance during Ramadan also for Muslims, as it is precious opportunity for them to maximize the spiritual growth deepen the connection with Allah and engage in acts of worship and reflection. Similarly, 
Timing is very important for any meeting. And to manage it efficiently, we have with us Toastmaster George, VPPR of Kairali Toastmasters Club. George, uh, he hails from Patanatita, Kerala, and he is in Qatar since 20, uh, 2007. He's an engineering graduate working in a trading company, providing training solutions for educational institutions and corporates. He's married to Nancy. She's also our Toastmasters. And they reside in Mughalina here, along with two kids, Noel and Nia. And his hobbies include reading and watching movies. So with a big round of applause, let's invite George to brief about his role today. Toastmaster George. Yeah, Toastmaster Tia Modi Abarna, thank you for the warm welcome. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and a guest, if any, and very good, evening, good afternoon to you all. My role as a timekeeper is to record the time used by our speakers. I'm also responsible to monitor time for each meeting segment. The green light will be indicated once you qualify the meeting, the meeting the minimum time. Yellow light will be indicated during the midway point between the minimum and the maximum time. The red light will be indicated when you reach the maximum time. Then to qualify, you need to wrap up your speech within the grace period of 30 seconds. As of now, since this is uh, not a physical meeting, I will have my screen uh, changed to those colors, green, yellow, and red. Uh, the time limits for the prepared speech sessions will be as follows. For the icebreaker speech, the speaker will be allowed four to six minutes to speak. At the fourth minute, the green light, a green light will be turned on. At the fifth minute, the yellow light will be turned on. And at the sixth minute, the red light will be on. And you will be given 30 seconds grace period. And the red light will be on until you finish the speech. For the regular speech, the speaker will be allowed five to seven minutes to speak. At the fifth minute, the green light will be on. At the sixth minute, the yellow light will be on. And at the seventh minute, the red light will be on. And again, you will be having 30 seconds grace period to wrap up the speech. And the red light will be on until you finish the speech. Uh, as you told, the table topic section is not there. So I'm not telling about that. And for the evaluation session, the speaker will be allowed two to three minutes to speak. At the second minute, the green light will be turned on. And after two minutes and 30 seconds, the yellow light will be on. And after three minutes, the red light will be on. And again, 30 seconds of gray speed will be allocated. And the red light will be on until the session is finished. Thank you. And over to the... Thank you, Toastmaster George. Uh, Toastmaster Chandra, for Reflect Your Path, is it a regular five to seven minute speech? 10 to 12, I'd send that timing to you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I, it'll be in the Today yeah, we have a minutes. third project is 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. okay. Because George is uh, new, basically new, so that's why I just wanted to highlight it. I sent him, I sent him. You got okay. it, George, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Toastmaster George, for explaining your duties very well. Thank you. Reciting the Quran. Yeah. Quran. <laughs> Welcome. Reciting the Quran flawlessly is considered a form of worship and devotion to Allah. Muslims believe that every letter of the Quran carries immense spiritual weight and rewards. And reciting it accurately enhances one connection with the divine. Similarly, today in our meeting, we have a grammarian who keeps a check on the flawless usage of our language. Our grammarian, Toastmaster Bindu Jacob. Toastmaster Bindu, she hails from Kerala, from Tiruvalla. She's born and brought up in a small town in Sindri, Bihar. She finished her schooling from Mount Carmel. She's a pharmacist by profession. And she's currently a housewife living in Qatar with her family for the last 15 years. She's married and is a mother of two kids, 
and she loves gardening, sports, music, and swimming. She has a positive outlook towards life and believes that happiness comes from within. She's a very enthusiastic Toastmasters who tries to carry out every role to the best. Whichever role she takes up in our meeting, she does it to the best. So let's ask Toastmaster Bindu, what is her duty as a grammarian today? Toastmaster Bindu. Thank you, Toastmaster Apanna, for the warm welcome. A very good afternoon to, to you all, Toastmasters. Okay. Today, my role in this meeting is the grammarian. So, dear Toastmasters, as a grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all speakers, listening carefully to their language usage. I'll take note of any grammatical error as well as usage of outstanding ones. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is, as you can see in my background, the word of the day is resolute, which means determined, set in purpose, unwavering, steadfast. Some of the sentences, sentence usage, I'll give you two, three examples. His resolute leadership was admired by many. A resolute person has the courage to act with conviction in the face of uncertainty and risk. Her parents wanted her to marry, but she was focused on her education and she remained resolute. So each speaker is encouraged to use the word of the day, resolute. I will give a word of the day report and the grammatical usage report when general evaluator calls upon during the meeting. Thank you, Toastmaster. So over to you, you Toastmaster. Thank you, Toastmaster Bindu. How could I use this word? Toastmaster Bindu's resolute dedication in doing her role today is appreciable. Is that right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Listening holds a significant importance during Ramadan for Muslims, as it plays a crucial role in deepening their spiritual experience and fostering a sense of community. Muslims believe that Quran was revealed during this month, the month of Ramadan, and listening to its melodious recitation during Tarawih prayers or through other means enhances the spiritual connection with the divine message. It allows individuals to absorb the profound meanings of the Quranic verses and draw them closer to the Almighty Allah. So Toastmasters meeting also gives a lot of importance to listening. We have a listener in our meeting, Toastmaster Ajita. Ajita is a, Toastmaster Ajita is from Rice Toastmasters Club and she's a diploma graduate in fashion design. She's also doing a course in ICBI, Image Consulting and Business Institute. With a big round of applause, let's invite Toastmaster Ajita to share her role as listener today. Thank you so much, uh, Aparna ma'am. Uh, as today is my first time attempting to be a listener role, so uh, so as I'm a listener for the today's meeting, I will be uh, having a focus on every speeches and evaluations and I will be giving the, I mean, I'll be asking the questions in, to all of you and I wish all of you take part in when I'm asking questions so to see if you all have been actively listening to all the each speeches and evaluations. So all the best and thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ajita. So now that completes our role plays for today. A big thanks to all the role players for choosing these roles. <laughs> Ramadan, it's divided into three main parts, each lasting approximately 10 days. The first 10 days is already over. So these are these divisions, they are based on hadith. And uh, it is divided into three stages. The first day, 10 days, it's called mercy, rahma. And during the first 10, uh, 10 days of Ramadan, it is uh, the believers are focused on mercy, and mercy, uh, forgiveness and mercy from Allah. 
So they engage in increased act of worship, seeking Allah's mercy and forgiveness for that past sin. That is during the first day. And it's a time for repentance, reflection, and seeking blessings. The second 10 days after this, from tomorrow onwards, is called forgiveness. And again, it is dedicated to seeking forgiveness from Allah. And they intensify the worship during this stage by supplication and good deeds. During these times, they indulge in more of charity works, asking for forgiveness and seeking to cleanse their heart and souls. It's a period of self-examination, repentance, and seeking Allah's pardon. And the last 10 days is the salvation. It's called Najat. The last 10 days are focused on seeking salvation from hellfire. Uh, they believe that the Laylatul Qadr, the de uh, night, de night of decree, which is uh, falling within this last 10 days. And it holds a special significance as it was believed that it was during these, one of these nights, Quran was first revealed. So it's a time of heightened spirituality, devotion, and seeking Allah's pressure. So Muslims strive to maximize their worship and good deeds during this period, hoping to attain salvation and blessings. Similarly, Toastmaster meetings is also normally divided into three segments. At first, the better speaking session or the prepared speech session where Toastmaster delivers the project speeches. Second is the better thinking, the table topic session. We don't have it. We are eliminating it today due to lack of time. And the last one is the better listening or the general evaluation session. So today's meeting, we let us start with a prepared speech session. And we have three speakers for today. And three speakers for today. So let's move on to the first session, the better speaking. And during Ramadan, we always listen to the speeches, right? And educational things from, uh, educational and spiritual things from all around. Every, 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 every iftar we go, we get to hear Ramadan messages. So today we have three speakers. The first, first speech will be by Toastmaster Anil Naya, distinguished Toastmaster Anil Naya. He's doing his level one project three. I don't know his path. Which path are you in Toastmaster? Did you have Anil? Level one yeah. project three. And the title of the speech is Unbelievable. And it will be evaluated by Toastmaster Nimita Anish. Toastmaster Nimita Anish, uh, can you please state the objectives of Level one project three speech? A very good afternoon to all of you. DTM Anil, uh, he'll be doing his L1P3 speech. Purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. Yeah, so back to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Nimitta. And uh, DTM Anil now he doesn't need any introduction at all. He's the most known speaker. If, I mean, he's a champion speaker, champion evaluator, even champion table topic speaker in District 116. And he's been in many leadership, he has served many leadership positions in District 116 and he's a great mentor. He's known for his uh, gavel, uh, its attachment to gavel clubs also. He is the founder of Doha Gavel Clubs and Birhala Gavel Club and still handling Doha Gavel Club. So with a big round of applause, let's invite DTM Anil Nair to deliver a speech, L1P3 speech titled Unbelievable. Unbelievable Distinguished Toastmaster Anil Nair. Thank you, President uh, Parna, for that uh, wonderful introduction. Uh, thank you for scaring everyone so that everybody will be more attentive now. Uh, <clears throat> today, I'm here to present something which I call unbelievable. Because sometimes when you hear of some things in history, it is unbelievable for us because we did not go through that. And when somebody tells us, we think, is it really true or not? So I'll try to clear some cobwebs in this direction. Toastmasters of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon. I'll be sharing a screen now to help me with this presentation. Uh, I think it has been disabled by the host. Screen sharing has been disabled by host. Can you check now? Now I don't have that option also. Oh my God. The option was coming. Uh, multiple was participants can share simultaneously. Yeah, it is there. No? It is click now. Yeah, everything. All right. Now it's there. Is there now? Yeah. So, Doctor, today we are. I'm going to deal with a very well-known subject, but probably not so well-known in uh, many places. It's about Kala Pani. The name itself was derived from a Sanskrit word, which Kal means time. And that probably extended to Kala, meaning black or dark. And Pani, of course, is water. While I grew up, whenever I heard of Kala Pani, it was always an imagination, something dreadful. And uh, the kind of stories that were told to us, it was uh, in our mind that it, this is some dreadful place. The curiosity went on and over a period of time, I've done some research and one, this is what it is, where it is located. It is almost 1350 kilometers away from the nearest landmass in India, from the mainland. And if you are put there in that cellular jail, then I think it's a long swim back. You really have to practice well if you want to come back it is also an archipelago of uh, many other islands, totaling about 572. And the area is about uh, 6,408 square kilometers. And the highest altitude is about 732 meters. So it's a mix of plains and mountains and many beaches, many wonderful pristine beaches, because right in the middle of the sea, there is no chance for people like us who go there and pollute it by throwing all plastic and garbage and coming back, because uh, you know it's it's our right to do all these things anywhere we go. Now I I knew that time that you know one day I'll be giving doing a research on this, so I made this effort five years ago. I went there. If you can see there, I'm standing there right in front of the central jail. So I went there because of all of you to do this research and to come back and tell you the, all the stories. So my team and me are there right in front of the cellular jail. That's the main entrance. You can see the two towers. Now this is what it looks like. It's about seven spokes of a wheel, all in different directions. And the name cellular has come because of the cells themselves if you can see, look at the building, you can see that it has got three stories and each one disconnected from the other. And the way this is built, the if your house, for example, let's say in one of these over here, probably in one of these cells, you can look forward, but you cannot see who is in the other cell because it is a closed part at the back and every cell building is in this way. So nobody knows who's staying next to you, who's there in the next uh, cell, and nobody knows who's staying in the other cells as well. So it, it is a solitary confinement in every possible way where the, they try to break the resolve of the inmates to ensure submission uh, to whatever degree possible. All kinds of torture were used in the process without any caring for human rights. And uh, there are, they have been stories that if they are really unhappy with the soldiers, they used to just tie them on the cannons and blow them. You know, nobody cared. Once you are put there in Kalapani, they were not cared for. Nobody cared for them at all. Many of them died of diseases. It is believed that about 90,000 uh, 90, uh, prisoners were sent there. 
and what was the reason for this uh, cell to be made in the first place now in uh, 1857 there was an uprising against the east british east india company in india and due to that they uh, had many prisoners with them and they did not know how to handle all these prisoners because it was the first time that en masse so many prisoners uh, were being arrested and put in jail so the they built this prison which is so far away that once you are there there is no way you can escape you are gone for good that was the terror of kalapani that has been even today i'm sure uh, generations after generations are still going through that and whenever they hear of the horrors that happened there it brings a chill to your bones now the way it was built they just had one central watch tower and one person one guard alone is enough to take care of this entire complex it is unbelievable but that's how it was one person guarding 648 uh, you know inmates there which is really unbelievable but the i have gone there i have seen this it is very much possible and why i say this we, as we go on i will you will see that if, even in the, when they are locked in the cells it is not possible to escape now this is the central uh, watch tower which was used to keep a watch on all these uh, uh, different uh, buildings over there the seven the wings of this uh, prison this is what it looks like now at the back what you see is now a hospital complex it is under the navy and military and these are the wings you can see about four of them here three actually in good shape and this is a bit modified type and after the independence after india got independence some of the people they got the idea that we should demolish this and in that way two wings were demolished at that time but later on people realized that this is a piece of history and uh, we cannot just throw it away like that and the rest of it was retained now here in front you can see the main entrance the two towers and there's a road right in front of it there were 698 cells almost 700 cells seven wings like a spokes of a wheel each cell as you can see is 14 by 9 feet and a ventilator is about 9.8 or 10 uh, feet up that means if you stand you cannot look out you know you have to really climb up or something which again is not possible considering the height and all that so very very difficult to have any sort of contact with any other human once you are in this now another horrible thing is once you are locked up they put they are locked up in the night evening for example then they are not they cannot go out till the next morning and uh, they were given clay pots for their uh, toilet uh, and washroom requirements so this is the kind no water no nothing that is the condition that the inmates went through see if you can see this this is the front side the picture on the left uh this is a long corridor behind which there are the cells and this is the back side of the cell which is in front of this so even if somebody tries to peep out this is closed in such a way that they cannot see anything so no human contact of any way possible uh, due to the design of this uh, complex is one of uh, a it could be or easily go as a horror movie or in the chapters of horror for the way things were uh, conducted here the way the prisoners were incarcerated and the way they were treated now this is what the corridor i was talking about this is a long corridor and if you can see this is the cell entrance and this is where the latches now this wall from this uh, grilled door to this is almost a meter you your hand will never reach it reach here and again this is another half meter this side so there no way that you are going to put your hand inside this go to here and again this is inside it's not even out 
it is another like uh, say 30 uh, 30 centimeter or something inside so there's no way that your hand will reach this latch so this is the way they have made it quite foolproof uh, and uh, maximum suffering for all the inmates this is the long corridor it was um, it, it's been like repaired and they put in some lights and stuff and now it's a tourist destination and you can see the cells on the right side. Now here one famous uh, prisoner of uh, freedom fighter was jailed here. His name is Veer Savarkar. And as you can see, this is the cell where he was kept for 10 years from 1911 to 1921. And it is, uh, you know, even now they, it is kept in a very good condition and uh, the tourists who come there pay their respects to this brave man. Now the thing about him, when they put him in jail in uh, Kalapani, they also put his brother there. And the way this uh, complex is built, for two years, they did not know that they were so near in the same complex. So that was the level of security which was uh, in place in this uh, cellular jail in Kalapan. Here you can see there are different types of punishments given to the uh, inmates where they have put the chain fetters, the, the crossbar fetters so that uh, to maximize the suffering of the inmates. And there was also flogging in the courtyard. This was done so that uh, when others see it, they are also demoralized and don't, you know, they they are they get into submission and uh, are easy to manage in the process. And it, another one is here. If you see on the right side, this is a prisoner. He is extracting oil, and there's a person at the back whipping him. So if he slows down, he gets whipped. So he has to keep at a certain speed to ensure that the oil is continuously flowing out of the mill, that uh, oil mill which they are given. Also, there are the gallows. This uh, picture also has been taken by me. Many of these pictures were taken by me when I visited with my family there. And you can see the horrors, horrible way the prisoners suffered during those times. Now this is now modern day uh, Port Blair, uh, the cell, uh, the cellular jail. And this is a show which happens in the evenings. It is called the light and sound show, which goes on for I think about half an hour to 45 minutes. And they have projections on different uh, walls. And every time they do that, they they will uh, give out a bit of history. And it's a very interesting thing. If you ever go to Andaman, do not miss this. This happens in the evenings. Now, as of now, what has happened is, this uh, as a tribute to Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, three of the islands have been renamed. Ross Island is now named as Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Dweep, Neil Island as Shahid Deep Dweep, and Havelock Island was renamed as Swaraj Deep. So, as of now, we are allowed to go there. There are timings. You can buy the tickets, go in, have uh, go around the complex and see uh, what how it is. Uh, you know the uh, 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 you get in depth knowledge about your history you get to see so many cells where those people have been uh, incarcerated and some cells have like for example uh, like i told you uh, like uh, veer savarkar's cell is uh, distinct it is marked and also there on the wall you will find the names of all those who have been in this uh, complex for with their years, when they came and when they went, or when they ceased to exist. In honor of Kalapani in 1997, Indian government released a rupee coin with this, and also uh, 
the uh, stamp, a postal uh, stamp was also released in the same uh, year. So as you can see, that was a brief uh, introduction to a history which is a bit dark for many of us, but yet it is something that we cannot ignore. So this is what this is the cost that uh, our forefathers in India have paid to attain this freedom. So freedom comes at a price, and Kalapani and cellular jail is a testament to that. So hats off to all those freedom fighters because of whom. India has been free and all Indians have been able to live a dignified life hereafter. With that, I conclude this unbelievable story of Kalapani and over to the Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, distinguished Toastmaster Anil, for riding us through Kalapani, the central jail of Andaman Nicobar Islands. You threw a lot of light on all the, so much of information loaded, it was a lot of light on the physical features and the struggles the prisoners had during those days. Thank you so much. It was indeed unbelievable. Uh, timer, can we give 30 seconds for giving the feedback to our speaker, speaker one, DTM Anil Nayar. 30 seconds for giving feedback, you may send as a personal message to DTM Manil Nayar feedback about this speech. Thirty seconds over. Thirty seconds and is over. Yes. yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, Toastmaster George. Now it's the time for our second speaker. Our second speaker for today is Toastmaster Robin Butterlo. Uh, she's doing her level four elective manage project successfully. Level four elective manage project successfully, and her speech is titled "Dream Home," and it will be evaluated by. Toastmaster Sri Kala Gopinath. Toastmaster Sri Kala Gopinath, can you please state out the objectives of this project, manage project successfully? Once again, very good afternoon to everyone sitting over here. And the purpose of the speech of uh, Rowan, Toastmaster Rowan, is the purpose uh, to practice developing a plan, building a team, and fulfilling the plan with the help of her team. And the purpose of the, her first speech is for the member to give a short overview of the plan of her project, actually. So she is giving her speech on uh, effective coaching, her pathways effective coaching. It is level four, title is Dream Home. It is Dream, yeah, our Dream Home. So I wish all the very best to my target speaker. And the duration is two to three minutes. Over to you, dear madam. Thank you, Toastmaster Thank you. Thank you, Yes, the duration is five to seven minutes. It's a second speech. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. In that case, it is given in the evaluation form. It is two to three minutes. No, no. That was the first portion of the evaluation. Okay. Okay. So, so timer, it is five to seven minutes. Okay. Thank you, Srikala, for clarifying that. Okay. Toastmaster Rowan, she hails from Mumbai with Govindut. She's married and is a mother of two lovely children. She enjoys reading motivational books and she pursues a passion for teaching and stitching skills. She's guided by the mantra, Hakuna Matata. With a big round of applause, let's invite Toastmaster Rowan to the virtual stage to deliver her speech title, Our Dream Home. Our dream home, Toastmaster Robin Butterlo. A house is built by bricks and a home 
is built by hearts. Imagine you are in a beautiful resort surrounded by the hills with waterfalls, greenery all over, silence except for the chirping of the birds and the sound of the breeze whoosh. That's the dwelling place of our house at Kargar Hills in Mumbai. Good afternoon, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. My happiness knew no bounds when we were handed the keys of our new house. As we entered, we could see empty space all over and just white walls. Now, I had a big project in hand to renovate our house, to decorate it and furnish it. I was so excited. From the time I was a little child and the number of careers I had in mind, interior designer was one of them. And this was my opportunity to fulfill the wish. I started collecting pictures from magazines and internet and began sketching the layouts for each and every room of our three bedroom apartment. I wanted to have a home which was simple, cozy, warm and bright colors and giving a cheerful atmosphere. So I began doing the research. I had butterflies in my stomach, excited but nervous too. After being away from India so many years and now having to set up, plan, prepare and implement a project was a challenge. But I was resolute in my decision and approach in handling this project. So first I listed all the tasks that had to be done right from the kitchen work, modular work, styling, painting, decorating, electronics, electrical, plumbing, name it, number. It was overwhelming. I had to do a research for different people. So I started getting references and began doing my search and calling the contractors or the individual service providers to view the site, give their ideas, their estimate and the time frame. At times, I was wondering how would I be able to handle all this, but then I stood firm in my decision. Now, how many of you all have been handling or dealing with, you know, this service provider at your hometown, even y'all are going to India? I'm sure you will be able to relate with the experiences that I had. Now, after doing an extensive research, I shortlisted five team members the civil engineer, the painter, the plumber, the electrician, and the furniture fittings company. We all got together and began preparing the phases of the work that had to be carried out. We also had to decide upon how to purchase the materials so that the design, the decor, and the colors would be matching. Now here, each one of them had their own says. So I had to be patient, listen to them, have a, a common understanding that this is how we are going to work out. And the work began. Initially, everything was smooth, but as the time passed, there was a time lag. They came up with stories saying, oh, my workers are sick. Oh, my worker is gone on vacation. And, and the work used to be on hold. It was peak summer, very hot, and I was literally losing my patience. I stood firm and I told them that if they did not do their work at stipulated time, they would not receive their payments completely. Slowly, they began realizing that, yes, this is what we need to do because I had only eight weeks of time limit. And slowly, this eight weeks passed to 10 weeks. As the days went, they began coping with me, cooperating with me and getting the work done. It was very tiresome, but still we went on. I had to monitor them from time to time, come and check the places, personally be there around to see that everything was done. There were times when they had to redo and complete the work. Luckily, we began having an understanding amongst each other 
and we started collaborating and the house began to look beautiful slowly, slowly. Finally, the day arrived when the project got completed and we entered into the house. My happiness knew no bounds. I couldn't sleep for the first night. But the fulfillment that in spite of the shortcomings and the delays, the work was completed successfully. We had a lovely home, homecoming celebration and blessed our home with love. So overall, I would say that handling this project and has given me the understanding of how to manage time, people and resources has given me the confidence. And now we are in our home. So from the head to the heart, from the house to the home. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster Rogan, for a wonderful speech. We can see the passion and efforts that you put in your dream project to make it successful, your dream home. We have all been through this, so we could relate very well. And the fruit of hard work is always delicious. I'm so glad for you. Congratulations on your dream home. Uh, timer, can we give 30 seconds for all of them to give the feedback? It's time now to give feedback to Toastmaster Rogan for her speech. Yeah, 30 seconds is over. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster George. Our third and final speaker for today is Toastmaster Chandrasekhar Dure, president of Rice Toastmasters Club. Uh, he's doing his level five, project three, reflect on part, the last final speech, right? My journey, my journey, and it will be evaluated by distinguished Toastmaster Rihanna Pinto. Distinguished Toastmaster Rihanna Pinto, can you please state out the objectives of Toastmaster Chandrasekhar's speech reflect on path his my journey. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. And good afternoon to all Toastmaster and the fellow Toastmasters and guests here. My target speaker, Chandrasekhar, will be speaking on reflect on his path. And the purpose statement is the purpose of this project is for the member to reflect on his growth during the completion of an entire path. The purpose of the speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her growth during the completion of a path. Time limit is 10 to 12 minutes. All the best, sir, Toastmaster Chandra, and back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Rayana Ji. Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, uh, he served as our district as our area director of uh, and and as division B director and he's the current president of Rice Toastmaster Club. He's working with Kata Power Company for past twelve years and in his Toastmaster journey for past six years. He believes that everything happens for some good purpose. So chill and be happy. He's our humorous champion. He always brings uh, and seen light. Whenever there is a tense situation, he makes the mood very light and humorous. So with a big round of applause, let's invite Toastmaster Chandra to deliver his final speech, My Journey. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Good afternoon. The study conducted by Dale Kerning Institute of Technology showed that 85% of your financial success is due to your ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. Shockingly, only 15% is due to your technical knowledge. I realized it when I joined uh, General Electric Company in 2007 at Bangalore. Communication, presentations, and leadership was very crucial and critical for my job. So I started searching uh, 
soft skill development institute and i came across those masters i also uh, read the quote by dr smedley we learn based in the moment of enjoyment i found bangalore toastmaster club meeting was in the evening 7 to 9:30 and all so i tried to link communication um, evening enjoying enjoyment so i thought it it might be some night night club i was more excited and rushed to the club i saw there are many people sitting there and uh, <clears throat> some people coming delivering speeches going i did not understand anything because i was almost 15 minute late so nobody explained me the agenda i did not like i came directly to the home and never go again in 2012 i came to qatar and in 2016 again that spark ignited to develop my soft skill i came across the doha to master website i called uh, vpm rangamani ravi she explained me how it was and i visited the toastmaster club doha toastmaster club at the end of the i mean in table topic session i was called for the table topic i still remember the table topic the topic was if you became the boss of your boss i removed all the frustration but audience was laughing <laughs> it was from that day i was tagged as a humorous speaker i was uh, awarded as the best table topic speaker that that day and this is how my journey into toastmaster started i became the member of uh, doha toastmaster club in, in path in a traditional uh, uh, toastmaster educational program i conduct i completed almost six level six project and i selected pathways pathways helped me to develop not only my communication and leadership skill but it also helped me for my overall development i selected two two path one uh, dynamic leadership skill and effective coaching dynamic leadership skill more focuses on your strategic leadership development it also helped me to understand my communication and leadership style initially i was not understanding all or i was not that much aware of uh, my leadership and communication style i understood this through this project and now i know how to apply where to apply my uh, present my leadership and communication skill it also helped me to understand my negotiation skill conflict resolution skill and um, building consensus skills i completed my project uh, on area 8 contest management in 2021 Uh, whatever the skill i learned through this path i uh, use uh, in that project while the, performing the project second path was um, is effective coaching this uh, effective coaching path more focuses on your uh, coaching skill development it helped me to improve my interpersonal skill coaching skill and leadership skill development i completed my project on managing the Farewell party to DTM Muthurangan and DTM Melvin Butella and family, and they were in Qatar. They 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 left the Qatar. This uh, was, I think, one of the. Uh, I wanted to take some different experience, so I did it. I gave in the different shape, and uh, I think some uh, many appreciated this uh, the, the program. So the pathways helped me in my professional life also. In two thousand uh, December two thousand twenty three. i went to bangalore in our um, company group networking uh, conference i was supposed to present uh, the um, our company's achievement future goals and uh, the investments and paybacks planning so um, I, unfortunately my number was the last number and there were many presentation whole day whole technical presentations and people were so bored of it so i use my toastmaster skills learn in toastmasters i hook the audience with humor uh, some quotes and personal stories and it was one of the best presentation in that day 
many attendees came and appreciated my presentations. So this is how Toastmaster helped me in my professional um, career also. It also helped me uh, in my personal life. It now I totally change when I give the feedback, when I speak with the kids, when I speak with my family and 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 the members and friends in the society. It I can see that change in me. In my Toastmaster journey, I got I got many mentors. Some of uh, here present already: Ritya Manil Nair, Ritya Mriana Panto, Ritya Melvin Butelo, and and many mentors I met. Ritya Ravi Shankar was assigned me as the official mentor. Um, and the list is is long. Ritya Surya and all. I learned from everybody. Everybody also tried to help me whatever the way they could. Uh, I learned normally everybody in whom I met in Toastmaster, everybody who are present here, because there is something uh, to learn from each other. Everyone is special. And um, I always try to take some qualities from, uh, from the person I met. <sighs> this is, uh, okay, I, I think with that achievement, I would like to share what the mistakes I did, I feel I did during my journey so that others can avoid it. Uh, first mistake, I think, uh, mentor. There are many mentors in Toastmaster who are always ready to help. You have to take uh, their full support and full help. I think uh, I could have used them or uh, not take, I could have taken their uh, help uh, in better way or more effective way. This, I think, uh, um, are lagging and in future I will try to correct my mistakes and, and develop myself. Second is the feedback. Whatever the role you do uh, in the Toastmaster meeting, you have a small role, uh, timer or grammarian or TMOD, evaluator, G, whatever the role you do, we should always take the feedback so that we come here to improve. There is always the scope of improvement. And um, I think I should have done that in in more effective way. Because I think there are many people, uh, like even uh, yesterday, uh, DTM Rajesh Visi came to Marathi Toastmaster Club as a general evaluator. And after the evaluation, he sent me the message, what was the area of improvement? What can I do better? So, I mean, we can learn from this, uh, these people. They are, the, here are the immediate past district director, three time DTM. Still, they, they, they ask for the feedback. They, they have the zeal and intuit to learn, to improve. And there are a lot to learn from such great people in, in Toastmaster who are around us. So third mistake, I think, uh, not, uh, I thought I couldn't say, I can say mistake for me. Uh, it is, I took long time for becoming DTM. In pathways, uh, 1.1 and a half year to two years is maximum. I think it required to become the DP, uh, DTM and complete your projects. Uh, in last six months, I would 70% of my pathways projects I completed in last six months and 30% in six years. So, so because I, I had committed that I have to complete it now in before the May. So I started working on, on my project and resolve it, right? So, and with that passion, I started working on that. I could do it. So I learned that if you start doing it, you commit to yourself, then only it is possible because nobody in forcing is here, right? There is no like exam, annual exam that you have to complete this project and you will get the mark. So this is the commitment you have to give yourself, then only you can, you can progress. So that was the learning from me. I think uh, I, I wanted to share with you so that you can, if possible, you can correct this uh, from your side. Achievement. <clears throat> To talk about the achievement, I don't think my achievement is becoming DTM and all. The more, the best achievement, I think, what I, uh, uh, in Toastmasters, in my Toastmaster journey, when I was the area director, I, I started two clubs uh, with the help of DTM, Rihanna, Pinto, and, and many others uh, who helped me, and many other charter members also. Marathi Toastmaster Club and Rice Toastmaster Club. I think this was a great experience uh, when we chartered this club. And this is the uh, achievement I feel uh, I had in Toastmasters. 
uh, and obviously many friends i, I got uh, many positive um, feedbacks i got from many of you so that is also the big achievements and what i would like to share more um, action plan what makes me happy in toastmasters it's not just uh, i come to toastmaster many of us comes not only for giving the speeches and all they come to to get the positive environment positive energy right hold their frustration in their the office and and the society we want something positive so they come take the role sometimes we don't have any role we don't do the speech still we come and attend the meeting because that positive vibe we, we want positive energy we get that is amazing uh what is now my action plan now whatever i uh, achieved in toastmasters whatever uh, the experience i got i want to give it back to the members to the society and i will work on that so this is my future plan so i would like to uh, complete my this speech with the quote by ginny remedy president and ceo of ibm I learned to I learned to always take on the things I had never done before. Growth and comfort never exist. With that, I would like to hand over to Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, for a very wonderful reflections. Thank you so much. You are motivating me to go for DTM. It's been nine years in Toastmaster and I haven't achieved it. I think it's time for me also to go for it. It was very nice to hear your reflection and your, your Toastmaster's journey. Thank you for sharing your journey, how you started and the transformation that has brought you in as a whole, as a personality. And you did share your learnings also, your achievements. Thank you for sharing that. It's definitely an inspiration to all of us especially to the new Toastmasters we have in the meeting. Thank you. Big round of applause to all the three speakers of this meeting. Good job, speakers. All the three speeches were wonderful. Let's give 30 seconds for the audience to give their feedback for Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. Time out, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds is over. Thank you, Toastmaster George. That brings us to the end of our first session. Time off. Toastmaster George, are all speakers qualified? Um, yeah, uh, the uh, I think the uh, DTM Anil Nair has gone up to 16 minutes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but it was Logan interesting. I mean, Toastmaster okay. Chandrasekhar is qualified. Thank you. I haven't set up set the poll actually. I came late from work, so I couldn't do it. Maybe we could do it towards the end of the meeting. Okay. Thank you. Now moving on. Ramadan's blessings are numerous. And let's take a look at a few of the blessings. It provides us an opportunity for spiritual renewal. It offers a chance for the Muslims to renew the spiritual connection with Allah through fasting, increased prayer, and recitation of the Quran. And every mosque in night during every night they have night prayers called Tarawi, during which the entire Quran is recited over the course of the month. Second is increased rewards. It's a time for increased charitable giving, known as zakat, to support those in need. So they are encouraged to give generously during this month, extending kindness and assistance to those who are less fortunate. It is believed that good deeds that are performed during Ramadan are multiplied many times over, leading to increased rewards from the Almighty. So they strive to engage in acts of charity, kindness and worship throughout the month to maximize these blessings. Third blessing is self-discipline and self-control. Fasting during Ramadan cultivates self-discipline and self-control. As Muslims, they refrain from food, drink, and other physical needs from dawn till sunset. 
So the fast is not merely a physical act, but it's a spiritual one also intended to purify the soul, foster empathy for the lesser fortunate and strengthen one's relationship with the almighty. Then another blessing is community bonding, which we all enjoy, most of the non-Muslims enjoy. Beyond the individual act of worship, they foster a sense of community and togetherness. All families come together to break their fast with iftar meal every evening, and sharing the blessings of the month. And even in mosques and community centers, they, order, uh, they organize this iftar gatherings, bringing people from diverse backgrounds together in the spirit of, spirit of unity and solidarity. So communal activities during Ramadan, it nurtures a sense of belonging and support, empathy and compassion. Through experiencing hunger and thirsty, thirst during fasting, Muslims, they gain a deeper understanding of the struggles faced by the less fortunate. And this fosters empathy, compassion and desire to alleviate the sufferings of others through acts of charity and kindness. It's also a month of forgiveness, an opportunity for forgiveness. So time is spent seeking for Allah's mercy and forgiveness to improve themselves morally and spiritually. And it is a time when uh, all the prayers are readily accepted. Now that we have listened to the blessings of Ramadan, let us get on to the blessings of this meeting, the general evaluation session, this uh, instant feedback session, which we can find only in Toastmasters. Speakers get the speeches feedback instantaneously, and it's a blessing actually, right? Because it helps the member to improve to a very great extent. It helps not only the, each of us, each of the role players and the speakers to improve to a great extent. So to lead the session, we have a very vibrant Toastmaster who always amazes me with her language and delivery styles. Toastmaster Bindu Singh. Uh, she's a very confident, outgoing, and warm person, a Toastmaster for past five years, and has held multiple leadership positions as treasurer, secretary, Gavels Club counselor, and she's a current Konkan Toastmasters Club's vice president education. She's juggling between two roles, first as a mother to her three adorable kids, and second as a senior manager, PMO for the higher program. She tries to give a fullest on both these fronts and enjoys each day as it comes. Let's invite Toastmaster Bindu to conduct the general evaluation sessions for today's meeting, the last and the final session of today's meeting. A big round of applause. Good evening, Toastmaster of the day. Good evening. And good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. This has been such an enjoyable meeting until now. Without further ado, I already know we are running late on time. So with the blessings of the Almighty, let me also start the general evaluation session. Now, as it goes, general evaluation also is divided in three sections. First is the evaluation of the prepared speeches. Second is the evaluation on how we kept on time in terms of grammar, in terms of listening. And third is the general evaluation by the general evaluator. So general evaluation points, right? So let's kick off this session, start with the prepared speeches evaluation, I would like to invite Toastmaster Nimitha Anish to deliver her evaluation of DTM Anil Nair's speech. Toastmaster Nimitha, please introduce yourself and then start the evaluation. Over to you. Good afternoon once again. Uh, I'm a member of Kairi Toastmasters. Uh, I have been taken roles like VP, um, yeah, treasurer, and many other roles. Uh, now, right now, I am also the admin B uh, uh, awards chair, and also by professionally, I'm an architect. I have two kids. I come from Kerala, and many of the faces are uh, familiar to me. Uh, thank you for being uh, part of this meeting. Okay, now to the 
evaluation. I'll go for, to the evaluation role. Kala Pani. Have you all seen Mohanlal's famous movie, Kala Pani? Yes, DTM Anil Nayar. During your presentation, all those tortures which I've seen in the movie, what the prisoners have faced came to my mind. Congratulations on your research topic, Kalapani. Your speech content is very well researched. You presented slides, photos, and I'm very glad to know that you were able to visit the place and present the photos you have taken. That is something very unique. So content is the king and you had too much information. It was well researched. Also, you had too much information that you went over time. So it's good that you could have streamlined your speech. Uh, such a wonderful topic you have taken uh, so that you, you should have streamlined. And what is the timeline? Based on that, you should be able to present the speech. Also, I felt like you were um, presenting a report. Clearly, the objective, project objective is mentioned that you have to do a research and do a speech on the research. So it was more like, I felt like it was more of a report presentation. And um, few suggestions like I could, uh, I feel like sharing with you is like, uh, you could have asked questions like, do you know Kalapani? Who all knows about Kalapani? Um, all those things would help you uh, help the audience to engage with you. Also, one thing what I noticed is like throughout the speech, your voice was the same. Your vocal variety was the same. Suppose when you are talking about the punishments and tortures, you could have little slow down and bring some expression of pain or sorrow. It would also, um, it will add more beauty to your project. Overall, your presentation was well-researched. It had lots of in information. And also, if you work on few things like your vocal variety, expressions, and add few points like engaging audience and all, it will be on a next level, along with time management. Back to uh, G. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Namita. That was a good evaluation. And uh, my take on the speech itself, I cannot stop myself from, from just stating a few statements. Uh, DTM uh, Anil Nair, beautiful. And I would just say one thing. You spoke about, uh, you know, Veer Savarkar, right? And you showed us the picture. That is pretty emotional. That's pretty emotional. And uh, seeing that in pictures itself is so painful. And I can just imagine how you would have felt when you were in those premises. I'm sure the aura of that place, the, uh, you know, the energy of that place would have engulfed you. I'm definite of that. And also, as Toastmaster Namita pointed out, I also felt that your voice was a bit monotonous. I I'm not sure whether you're fasting or you're tired. Maybe that could be the reason. Uh, however, yes, the topic was not uh, that of uh, exuding too much energy. It was quite a sad topic. Uh, however, if you bring in a little bit of energy, it's going to be more inspiring and more engaging. That would be my suggestion. We'll move over to the next evaluation. I invite Toastmaster Shrikala Gopina to deliver her evaluation after introducing herself. Thank you, Ji, and very nice to meet you. We are seeing for the first time and really happy to be to listen to your eval general evaluation and straight to our evaluation. This is the second time. Once again, good afternoon, everyone. This is the second time I am fortunate enough to evaluate the speech of Toastmaster Rowan. I must say that I'm fortunate enough because the way she actually prepares for her speech is exceptionally good and it is highly dedicated with zero negatives actually. Since I'm also following the same path, this is a perfect role model for me and trust me, I have saved her 
phone number in my uh, in my device so that i could contact her for my in order for the clarification of my doubts and when we go to the speech while i was giving my speech as a test speaker in different clubs prior to the competitions to in, in which i was going to be part of the feedbacks actually have helped me a lot and the first noticeable feedback uh, among them was that this when we start a speech we should have a the kick off statement it should be hooky and again in toastmaster robin speech it is very visible from a house to a home and she could perfectly wind up from actually from what point she started it was literally like a cycle and it was perfect when i look into those points as an evaluator i could 100% i can say that all the purpose of speech have been accomplished by the speaker and the dynamics in her conversation the language she used the excitement she has the body language the expression the vocal variety and everything i truly believe none of you would have taken your eyes from her speech and we none of us have left out even a single word from her speech because from beginning till the end it was completely catching and it was her speech has fully uh, rowen let me tell you you have completely done justice to the purpose of the speech and to the project you have taken and to me it is a very perfect one seriously i don't have any idea about what is the negative here i need to point out perhaps i can say anyways you have given a beautiful very clean picture very clear picture about the home you have built and the mind you have put into it and the way people helped you so by the end of the speech when you wind it up you could have shown us the home that was the only thing i felt like saying and apart from that well organized beautifully delivered exceptionally articulated throughout catching wonderful speech experience we all had uh, what you gave us and all the best to all the future um, speeches uh, my dear toastmaster over to the team thank you toastmaster uh, shrikala for that well rounded evaluation and the only point that i would like to add uh, rovan after that well delivered speech i was just looking for those nuggets of wisdom what a person in your place should keep their eyes open for the risks that a person should be aware of if they are undertaking a project like you undertook otherwise beautiful speech very well delivered let's move on to our third speaker speech evaluation and i invite dtm riana pinto to deliver the evaluation dtm riana to introduce her i am so sorry the other previous two evaluators i did not have your introduction so i could not speak much about you i've known dtm riana for few years now and i can very very proudly mention this dr pratiksha if you could please um, thank you and i can very proudly say that she is one of my unofficial mentors she is the one who has always pushed me to take roles not only in the club but also at the area or at the division level for trainings or any other role that she felt i could do justice to and i am indebted for that experience that i've had being handed over by her to me so if you have a chance please consult her seek her advice and there is so much to learn from her her resolute as being a seasoned toastmaster only achieving dtm should not be the goal i know few toastmasters who've been in, who've been there in the fraternity for a long time they are not dtms yet but 
the way they inspire you, how much you can learn from them, I can only mention. So I invite DTM Rihanna to deliver the evaluation of our third speaker, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar Dute. Over to you, DTM Rihanna. Thank you, General Evaluator Bindu Singh, for that wonderful words of introduction from speaking from your heart. And I'm overwhelmed with that words of introduction. Thank you so much. To begin with my evaluation to our star speaker today, Chandrasekhar Dude. Great leaders don't tell you what to do. They show you how it's done. Good afternoon, General Valpita and fellow Toastmasters and my target speaker, Chandra. With this, I would like to say that you have opened your speech a great way to reflect on your journey in Toastmasters with a great opening, giving a small snippet of a reflection about what is to What is the what you have gained? In a nutshell, you explain the benefits and whatever the there is in leadership or in communication. What you you gave a nice summary in the beginning, and then you continued with your journey. How you were uh, taken to the Bangalore Toastmasters and how you did not like it, and but you continued your journey back in Doha. And you were hooked with the with the table topic, how you were made, forced, or persuaded to join Toastmasters. And then you were, there was no stopping back, no turning back, and you moved on. And today you have completed your path with two levels. And it is a great inspirational story to le learn from you about your whole Toastmaster journey. Now that you have completed your six projects in the world traditional Toastmaster journey, and then again two paths completion, taking up various leadership roles and being a successful leader, being a area director, which I have witnessed because I was a division director then, then you became a successful division director and we have witnessed also how you have grown in your communication skills, participating in contests, and now the rigorous projects you are giving to, with the deadline in mind. Hats off to you for keeping that resolution in mind to complete your DTM within the short time and moving forward with that. You have explained, touched every path of the journey with your given a description about which path you have completed, what you learned from different paths, the skills and what you have learned and what mistakes you have made during your journey and accomplishments and the action plan, very well described, very good content of a, to explain your journey in Toastmasters to complete and reflect your path. What you could have done better, like uh, there would, being a seasoned Toastmaster now, there would be options for a voice modulation, those, Body language, I felt you were standing in one position itself. You could have used the stage, like moving from one path to that, uh, describing different levels of your speech. And also bringing those emotions out, the joy, how you have learned, now you have transformed. The transformation could have been shown with your body language, your facial expressions. Otherwise, a great speech, well-prepared, well-delivered with confidence, and proud to be associated with your journey and to see your growth. And hopefully, I will. we will wait to see you as a distinguished Toastmaster. With this, I hand your control back to General Evaluate. <clears throat> Thank you, DTM Mariana, for that evaluation of a very advanced speech of Toastmaster Chandrasekhar. Very well. Just one point there, Chandrasekhar, I felt, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, in terms of the practice, right? 
So a little bit more of practice. Because there, there were there were instances where I felt uh, you were clamoring for words and words were not coming through. So that's one point from my side. Otherwise, very beautiful. And congratulations on completing that. We move on. So the prepared speech evaluations have been completed. So for first section, the tick mark is done. We move on to the second section that is reports by our role players. And who better to start with? Let's start with a grammarian for today. Grammarian, if you could go ahead and give your report, please. Thank you, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Bindu. My role as a grammarian is to give a report of the usage of the word of the day, resolute, and some outstanding words which were used during the speeches and, and, the, and any grammatical mistakes which were there during the speeches. So all our three speakers were excellent. Such mesmerizing speeches. I just loved hearing all of them and they were inspiring, educative and motivating for each one of us. Thank you all our three speakers for motivating each one of us present here today. So about the usage of the word resolute, the Toastmaster who used the word resolute during their speeches were Aparna, Toastmaster Aparna, Toastmaster Rowan, Toastmaster Chandrasekhar, and uh, Toastmaster Rayana. And I would uh, say that there were not much grammatical mistakes, but I would like to specify on some outstanding words used by our test speakers. Like Toastmaster Anil, he used the word ar archipelago of many islands, which means a large group of, or a chain of islands, pristine beaches, having clear, pure beaches, solitary confinement, incarcerated, that is in prison, confined closely. That's the meaning. And Toastmaster Rowan used some beautiful uh, phrases, happiness knew no bounds, bestowed with love. Toastmaster Chandrasekhar used words and phrases like crucial and critical. We learned best in the moments of enjoyment was one of his quotes. Zeal and inquisitive. About Toastmaster Aparna, uh, some of the words which captivated me were refrain, foster empathy, alleviate the suffering. About, about Toastmaster Bindu, aura of the place must have engulfed you was, a, I feel, a good phrase which she used, nuggets of wisdom. So, so beautiful usage of words and, uh, and uh, I feel all the speeches we heard were very motivated and uh, thank you. And over to you, General Evaluator Toastmaster Bindu. Toastmaster Bindu, my namesake. I think my name also should be there in the list of uh, people who used the word resolute. I think I used it once. Okay, let's move on. So we move on to the next role player, Toastmaster Ajita, our listener for this evening. Toastmaster Ajita, please introduce yourself and then give us the report. Thank Over you to so you. Much. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Ajita. Uh, I'm from Rice Toastmasters Club. So I was I'm the listener. I have um, got some four to five questions. So the first question I would like to ask uh, in how many I mean, sorry, how many years back did Anil Nayak go to uh, I mean, do the research for Kalapani? How many years back? Five, five years. years. Okay. Uh, how many cells were there in Kalapani? How many? How many? How many cells were there in Kalapani? Six twenty-seven. Six ninety-seven. Six ninety-eight. Six ninety-eight. 
what were the three challenges uh, Ms. Rowana, Rowana ma'am had to start a new, uh, for a new house? What are the three challenges? Agency. Sign. Sign. One, One was Rowana? to complete it within eight weeks. Yeah. Yes. Uh, getting getting the right contractors on board. Okay, then. What are you design or okay. Uh, supervising Rowana? it personally. I, I also did not get the answer because she was talking fast, so I could not write it down. Uh, Rona, ma'am, can you please tell your three points? Basically, it was to plan, prepare, and implement the project. Yeah. Plan, yeah. prepare, implement. Okay. What type of house was Rona, ma'am, looking for? What's what up? type of house was Rona, ma'am, looking for? What type of a house does she like to? Uh, what type of a house did she like to have? <laughs> okay, and last, uh, two more last, two last questions. Whose quote did Chandrasekhar mention on a speech? Can you repeat again? Whose quote did Chandrasekhar mention in a speech? Ralph Bradley. What was the table topic given to Chandrasekhar? Uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, what was the topic given to Chandrasekhar? What if you would be the boss of what, your boss? Boss of your boss, yeah. You cannot Thank forget you. that table topic. So, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank you, listener. Toastmaster Ajita. We'll move on to the timer for today. Timer, could you please give us your report? Are we on time? Formally, you can announce it. Go ahead, uh, please. Toastmaster uh, George. Good. Yeah, I will give the reports. Regarding the time for the speakers, Toastmaster Anil Nair DTM has taken 16 minutes and 30 seconds. And the duration of uh, Toastmaster Rowan Butalo's speech was 6 minutes and uh, 4 seconds. And the Toastmaster Chandrasekhar today's speech was 12 minutes and 7 seconds. And for the evaluators, Toastmaster Nimita Anish took 2 minutes and 36 seconds. And Toastmaster Srikala Govinath took uh, 3 minutes and 12 seconds for the evaluation. And Toastmaster Rihanna Pinto DTM has taken 3 minutes and 53 seconds for the evaluation. This is the overall summary of the timings. Thank you. And over to the general evaluator. Is our meeting running on time? Did we start on time? You are muted. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the, we are uh, very, very much ahead of our time and we didn't start on time, unfortunately. <laughs> we are lagging on the time. Lagging. And yeah. we didn't start uh, on time. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster George, for your report. So that is the second check checkbox. The second section of the general evaluation is done, and I will keep my comments to the minimum. We are already very late. So first of all, thank you very much for considering me to be your general evaluator. I'm very happy to be here amongst all of you, and I enjoy being on online meetings how all of us enjoy this you know it 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 actually burns the boundaries from anywhere you can just join and deliver whatever you want to so this was a good idea to have a joint meeting and an online one happy to see rowan back delivering her speech in terms of the meeting uh, yes i had logged in at around uh, 3 or 5 and uh, uh, we were waiting for uh, for the room to be opened and then I had to log off and uh, log in again. And then yes, I logged in. Everyone was 
very much there discussing on role substitutions and uh, so on and so forth, calling each other, they, whether they're coming in, coming, not coming and so on. So um, that coordination was being done and it is understandable in these times of, uh, you know, all of us have different office times as well. I personally, I have from uh, either nine to three or 10, uh, nine to two or 10 to three. So unfortunately today I went 10 to three. So I was also a little bit pressed on time and driving at that time. So that's understandable in terms of everyone being at that time in time for the meeting. However, uh, as Toastmasters, we should always make an effort to be on time to our meeting, start the meeting on time. So as per my, my observation, the meeting was around uh, seven minutes late in terms of actually kicking off the meeting. And uh, I don't, I'm not counting the meet and greet time and all that, right? So that's something that uh, we need to take care of in terms of Kicking off the meeting, the Sergeant at Arms, uh, DTM Rihanna, she did a very good job on that, very energetically. Uh, she brought the house to order, invited the two presiding officers to you know, open the meeting for the respective clubs. And the two presiding officers did a good job in terms of you know, opening the meetings for the respective clubs as well. And then handing over the baton to Toastmaster of the Day. And then our Toastmaster of the day, very well prepared with the theme that is spiritual rejuvenation. So when you hear of rejuvenation, generally we always assume it is physical rejuvenation. When you hear of people going on vacation and returning to work, you ask, okay, so you're all rejuvenated now, you're all re-energized now. So this topic today, the theme rather for the meeting today, spiritual rejuvenation, was very interesting and uh, the Toastmaster of the day has done justice to that. She has in fact educated us on all the facets of Ramadan, how our Muslim brothers and sisters celebrate this, how they observe the fast, how they break the fast and what are the do's and don'ts of this. Mm -hmm. So thanks for that Toastmaster of the day, very well done on that. And you did it very well in terms of uh, putting the information across, not at once, but in short snippets in between, intertwining it. So that was very well done. In terms of the speakers, uh, all the speakers I've already mentioned, enjoyed all your speeches. Evaluators also very well evaluate, evaluated the speeches of the speakers. And uh, role players, Definitely, any Toastmaster meeting cannot be conducted without the help of our stars. Those are our role players, the tag team, as we call them. So thank you very much, the tag team, for all your efforts, doing your, completing your role to the T. And every tag team should always be very proud of how they help in running the team, uh, the meeting. At, at one point, when I was an XCOM member at ICC Eves, I used to, for each and every meeting, I used to be one of the role players. So either it's, it's a grammarian, it's a listener, it's a timer, any any role, any role. And believe me, it's it builds you up. It gives you so much confidence. It, it builds the leadership skill in you. So thank you, tag team. And of course, all of you who are present for this meeting, sparing your time, some actually delivering your speeches, others playing other roles. Very well done. Since we had only one segment of the meeting today, that's the prepared speeches, there's no table topic speeches segment. So that's where I would like to conclude in terms of my observations, certain suggestions as I have already given it so starting on time, completing the meeting on time, that, that is a prerogative we have as Toastmasters. And uh, of course, when there are any changes, it's good to circulate the changes. Uh, it's good to actually call up our uh, members and check whether they're attending the meeting or not. And in advance, if we can circulate that, if not in the agenda, updated agenda, at least in the 
WhatsApp group. So we know who who's been replaced as a role player. Yes, so that helps. Yeah, and uh, all the best, all of you. That's my short and sweet general evaluation of the meeting. Over to the Toastmaster of the day to carry the meeting forward. Over to you. Thank you, Bindu, for such an amazing evaluation. Big round of applause to Toastmaster Bindu for the general evaluation session. So we have almost come to the end of the meeting. Uh, Toastmaster Bindu, did you check if all the evaluators are qualified? Yes, yes, I think yes, yeah. All the evaluators are qualified. Only for the speakers, we had a challenge with two of the speakers. No, even me. So, I think I won. I was sure. Okay. Can we just launch the poll? Evaluators. Um, Vienna, you were short. Uh, time. Yeah, I will just okay. uh, repeat the time times again. For the yeah, evaluators, please. Toastmaster Nimita was two minutes and thirty six seconds. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Toastmaster Srikala was three minutes and twelve seconds. And Toastmaster okay. Diana Pinto DT yeah. must So first and minutes. second are qualified. Okay. Thank you. First and, and second. I, I launched the poll now. Yes. And parallelly I'll conclude the meeting also. So this brings to the end of the meeting, and we have a great sense of learning, accomplishment, enjoyment through this. The end of Ramadan is marked by the celebration of Eid a joyous festival that includes communal prayers, feasting, and exchanging gifts. Eid serves as a culmination of the spiritual growth and self-discipline achieved during Ramadan, as well as an opportunity to express gratitude for all the blessings received. So overall, Ramadan offers our Muslim brothers a unique opportunity for spiritual reflection, rejuvenation, strengthening one's faith, and commitment to living a righteous life according to the teachings of Islam. So wishing everyone, uh, once again, a blessed Ramadan. Back to the presidents of Kairali and well, back to the secretary of Kairali and president of Rice Toastmasters Club. Thank you, Toastmasters of the day for the wonderful uh, conducting, wonderfully conducting the meeting. You had a big round of applause. Thank you, everybody, for your presence and participating in the, in the meeting. I think we are uh, you know, very late. So with that, uh, I would adjourn right to Toastmaster Club meeting number 52. Over to uh, Carol Toastmaster, presiding officer. Thank you, Toastmaster Chandra Shekhar uh, Dude. Wonderful joint meeting. Again, we had uh, so much for us to uh, understand and learn. So with this note on this late time, um, let me declare the meeting of Kairali is adjourned. Yeah. Uh, we have a guest there. We can ask, I think. Yeah, I think Dr. Mm -hmm. Pratiksha is there. Uh, you can give your feedback, Dr. Pratiksha. Yeah. Okay, okay, one second. A very warm good evening, everyone. Toastmaster of the day and the president of uh, RISE and uh, the secretary of uh, Kairali, I guess. Actually, it was an amazing me meeting. All the speakers were actually resolute. They were speaking so nicely. Even the evaluators were superb. And I really thank uh, Rihanna Pinto, ma'am, for inviting me for this wonderful meeting. And I learned a lot. Being a toddler in... Uh, Toastmasters, I really learned a lot. Thank you so much for the invite. Thank you for joining. Yeah, we can uh, adjourn the meeting. Uh, can uh, we have a group photo? Sharing the result for the best speaker and oh, best evaluator okay, presidents. <laughs> can we have a group photo? Yeah. Oh. Uh, presidents, can you share the results and then we'll go for a group photo. Drew is a member, guest. Shirikala, you have? Okay. You can share it in the group, WhatsApp group. Okay. The best speaker 
is Toastmaster Rovan Butalo and the best evaluator is Toastmaster Minita Anish. Congratulations. Thank both. Yeah, both of you. Rovan and Nimita. Now for group photo, yes. <clears throat> Juhi, can you switch on your camera? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for this, for all your efforts, Aparna, and for putting up a very nice meeting and a wonderful team. I'm sorry, I'm, I got late, actually. Very sorry for this. Thank you, Rowan, for it that wonderful fine. speech. Thank you. And Anil yeah. Nair also. Thank all you. three speeches were great. Yeah. yeah. Anil Ji, how did you Great research, huh? Kalapani, too many things we learned today. <laughs> so much of it. Yeah, there's a lot. Actually, this is nothing. One hour is uh, less, to be honest. Even one hour exactly. is less. If I have to say, then it's too much. There's so many mm. more photos and stuff to be shared, information, a lot. This is very By the way, congratulations, uh, Chandra, for completing your path. Uh, two <laughs> path. Uh, <laughs> path. Yeah. Chandra Shekhar. <laughs> great, great. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Very soon we can uh, see you as a distinguished Toastmaster now. <laughs> yeah, mostly next month. <laughs> thank you. Great, great. We're How are you movie arena now. Ah. I think, uh, yeah, so that will, we can see more uh, about Kalapani there, hai na? Anil ji? Yeah, it's a good movie, I think. Yeah. Of course. Anil ji, how did you feel actually there? Uh, negative emotions will be very much there, right? How did you actually uh, you see, make it? When, when you see those depictions, those, uh, you know, those recreated uh, statues and stuff, yes, you do yeah. feel bad. You of realize course, the horror feel that the pain, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you I... Feel I it. You literally can feel... So uh, sad. Yeah. Emotions, both, both strong emotions. Worse than animals. Exactly. Horrible, horrible. In that area, area uh, that time, how they have built those uh, this no prisons? So the much prisoners of... built it. The prisoners were made to build it. Oh. Yes, that is how. It's a double uh, jeopardy. You build your own exactly. prison. And uh, they, they, have to, they have to survive on uh, grass and some kind of soil and stuff like that. You know, they were not... Uh, give, some of them were... No food? Yeah. Some of them were punished in a way they used to not get food. It was rationed, very little, it's nothing. And the amount of work they do, it is uh, not possible to, with that energy to oh, get right. it done, you know. It's that kind of horrible uh, treatment. Yeah. We should value our have... freedom so much after this, yeah? Really. Yeah, and when we are not even aware, we take things for granted. Exactly, freedom, exactly. Both right and, you know, the what they have gone through, exactly. if you see it, then you will think 10 times, you know. Even before going and throwing one piece of plastic on the beach. So many times I, we go as a family and all, we, I see this so sad, we pick it up and dump it, you know. It, if I can pick it up, they can pick up their own trash here, come on. Exactly. If everybody clean, keep cleans their trash, then there won't be anything left outside. Civic sense. Civic sense. Exactly. Got, we need, uh, to, yeah, we need to have it in our children uh, and us. Definitely we need to have it. Melvin, sir. Thank you, Anilji, for that. Long, after Thank long you, everyone. I, I would like to leave now. Thank you. Thank Have you, a nice Bindu. evening, everyone. Thank you, for Thank joining you. Bye -bye. and taking you up the role. Thanks. Thank you. I completed ah. level one today. If there time for Bindu. Oh, yes. <laughs> Melvin, you need feedback. I have sent you a message. Look. I will show you. There, there okay. is nothing negative, all positive. Congratulations to Anil Nair. He also completed Water. level one. Sir. <laughs> okay, great.